Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you, and today I'm talking about A Quiet Place Part 2, directed by John Krasinski, starring Emily Blunt, Killian Murphy, Simon Han So, Millicent Simmons, Noah Juppé, and John Krasinski. Um, uh, this is a sequel to the 2018 horror movie, uh, interesting, uh, direct, written, directed by Krasinski, and of course starring at the time. Uh, and this movie is, like, really interesting. Uh, this movie just came out Friday. And, uh, it's making a shitload of money right now. $50 million opening weekend. And good for it, because this movie was literally... The, um, uh, the, the, the theaters locked down and closed. Literally, the weekend this movie was going to come out. So, um, uh... You know, I missed the pandemic by one week. Uh, or got hit by the pan Like, the first film hit by the pandemic. Uh, as far as release release dates wise, so for 14 months, um, uh, this movie just kind of just been sitting there waiting, and uh, I gotta say it is well worth the wait. It's a terrific motion picture, and I would even say better than the first movie. The setup here, the movie takes place 430 plus days after uh, an alien invasion has basically wiped out most of humanity. Uh, that we foreseeable humanity that we know of because uh, these are large virtually impervious creatures but they're also blind uh, the first film was uh, practically without any dialogue there's only two scenes in the whole movie with any dialogue and me personally uh, even though it made a lot of money got lots of praise was nominated for an Oscar uh, I thought it was a bit gimmicky that doesn't mean I didn't like it I just thought it was just gimmick heavy. Um, but it did leave room for an intriguing sequel to, you know, what is going on with these creatures and stuff like this. Um, it's confirmed, you know, there's answers confirmed. There's more things we learn about them in this movie. And also the world, of the surviving world, what is the world like outside of this family now? is also addressed. Uh, we all, uh, we'll find out the movie takes place uh, right outside of the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, and uh, kicks off with a great kind of uh, uh, prequel sequence uh, of the, the you know first impact in the, the small little town where this family was living at the time. Which is, smartly, where most of the films, uh, the film's trailer gets its footage. You know, so uh, that's, I always love when movies will try, uh, Endgame did that too. Where they really try to promote as much of the movie around just like the first reel uh, or two. Just show you as little as they possibly could get away with to get you to come see this movie. That's, that's smart marketing, in my opinion. Um... Uh, as I said, I really love this movie. I love the way it built up. I love uh, Killian Murphy's character. Uh, the whole story, really, here is just that. Um, uh, it picks up literally the second, just seconds after the first movie ends with uh, the surviving family members realizing that their bunker for the first film is now uh, compromised, no longer safe, can't be salvaged, and they have to move on somewhere else. And it's about on, being on the go, and the family eventually gets separated and split up, and it kind of becomes an Empire Strikes Back sequel, but for horror movies where we got all our heroes are on the go, but they're all divided, and all on their own uh, personal character arcs. Uh... And also, uh, this movie really redeems itself. Another problem I didn't, I had with the first film, is I really didn't, I wasn't invested in the kids. I didn't care about the kids, other than they're just, you know, I was more, you know, because it's parents, the duty, the um, responsibility to protect, to provide, all this kind of stuff that I can relate with. But the two kids were just kind of hollow, uh, empty characters for me, and that was certainly redeemed in in this film on, on a massive level, uh, with both the boy and the girl. Uh, I just, you know, I was gonna give this movie four stars, but while I'm sitting here thinking about it, uh, and think and talking about it, uh, I'm talking myself into four and a half stars. And this is a movie. The first film I probably gave two and a half, three stars. So like I said, I didn't hate it, but it was just to me, you know. A good, standard, watchable horror movie. 
I like how the movie does, uh, it seems to hold on to a brutality with, we, we, I could have, I would have appreciated some gore. There's more than enough opportunities for gore in this movie. They could have gone for an R rating, but, uh, they didn't, and that's just the way it is. Uh, but nevertheless, this is, uh, a superb film and an excellent horror sequel. Uh, highly, highly recommend you check out A Quiet Place Part 2. Anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed this view. If not, I don't care. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.